Political drama is speaking in Pakistan as speculation of the country's former Prime Minister Imran Khan's arrest makes rounds among his supporters and Pakistan Tariqe Insaf leaders. The party leaders and supporters were up in arms and warned the Sheba Sharif government against taking any action on the PTI chief Imran Khan, who labelled his protests a struggle for freedom. I have said this several times, that this is a fight for real freedom. Getting arrested is a small thing. I am ready to lay down my life if the need arises. I cannot live like a slave. Fearing his arrest, PTI and its allies in Punjab province's government say that Punjab police officers would take over the security of Imran Khan's Islamabad residence in Banigala, as there was some movement towards the house. After Pakistan Muslim League leader Muniz Elahi's post on social media, PTI leaders were quick to follow his lead. Punjab Minister Muhammad Basharat Raja said that the Punjab police's elite force were on their way to Banigala for security. He further said that the party knows how to protect its leaders and warned government against testing party's patience. Responding to PTI leaders' threats, Interior Minister Rana Sanaula Khan say that any hindrance to government's action will be dealt with. Without the permission of the uh, federal government, uh, there is no force of police or force PTI Vice President Fawad Chaudhry said that the party chairman did not need protection as his followers would protect him. He further warned of starting a movement in Pakistan that would topple the incumbent government if Imran Khan faces arrest. The speculations over Imran Khan's arrest became rife after his chief of staff, Shebash Gale, was arrested yesterday. Imran's aide was reportedly beaten up and abruptly taken away by the forces. The PTI leaders called his arrest an, an abduction. Gale's alleged staff worker was a witness to the incident. They arrested Shabazz Gill. I wasn't opening the door and they stopped us and assaulted us. You can see the marks on my neck. They broke our glasses too. Shabazz Gill was handcuffed. He was dragged and beaten up like he's some criminal. There were eight to ten cars. Gill faces two charges, sedition and inciting the public against state institutions. He is accused of calling for a rebellion within the Pakistan Armed Forces. Reports suggest that his recent remarks in an interview had angered many in Pakistan government. Gill's statement triggered a sharp reaction from the government as the broadcaster was issued a show cause notice. And for more on this, our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik is joining us live from Islamabad. Hi Anas, what's the latest on this drama so far? And tell us about the government's warning to anyone who gets involved in this matter. Well, the latest is that in a very short while from now, we'd be hearing from the former Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan, who is to hold a media briefing or a press brief briefing. Uh, and uh, it was scheduled to take place about 20 minutes back, but it is yet to happen, where he will be making a policy statement on the matter uh, and a PTI policy statement on the matter. But what we've been say seeing is a trend that uh, PTI lawmakers have been distancing themselves from the statement made by their leader, Sheba Shabazz Gill. Uh, and that uh, they've been saying that they love the armed forces by and large. On the other hand, the government says that this statement was well part of a conspiracy uh, that was hatched, that was very well planned and scripted, and that they will be getting to the bottom of it. Shabazz Gill has been sent on a two-day remand. On the other hand, what is to be noted is the fact that uh, uh, the channel that aired the comments of uh, Shabazz Gill its uh, managing editor or managing director uh, has been picked up as well. Uh, uh, in Karachi, Ahmad Yusuf, the senior vice president of the ARY News, has been picked up uh, late last night from his residence. So by and large, there seems to be an organized crackdown against the aiders and abettors and facilitators of this statement. But uh, 
by and large it looks like that this is an attempt to for, to muzzle free speech or to muzzle the press those which has not been towing the line of the government eric Anas, could you tell us how much of a problem or fiasco it would be for pakistan if imran khan is arrested Well, at this point of time, he ha enjoys greater public support and a reflection of which we saw in the recently held Punjab polls where he clinched uh, 16 seats uh, uh, from uh, those 20 seats. So that goes on to explain his popularity graph. And that is somewhat uh, the experimentation that the Pakistani current Pakistani dispensation, be that with the government or, or, or other stakeholders, would probably not go for a direct confrontation with the public uh, ramification of which can potentially be severe and that is something that has been warned of time and again by PTI leaders that in case if any attempt is made towards Imran Khan to arrest him or to uh, separate him from the electoral process then the reaction would be on the streets and it would be severe and it would be huge. Eric? Live from Islamabad, thank you very much uh, Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik for talking to us today. We Earn is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.